Mendicant University is a free online school for software developers. While there are many ways to learn technical skills online, our community-centric learning model makes our program unique. Over the last two years, we have built up a small but strong group of learners who come from many different backgrounds. The thing that we all have in common is an internal drive to improve our technical skills so that we can make interesting and useful contributions to the world. The beautiful thing about our program is that because it is run entirely online, we aren't tied down to a particular set of cultural values. Instead, our vision of how to make the world a better place stems from a wide range of different viewpoints. As of early 2012, our community has members from over 20 different countries, even though there are less than 80 of us in the whole program. A strong international culture is something we work hard to maintain and is one of our defining characteristics. While our community lies at the heart of what we do at Mendicant University, we also actively try to make life better for the broader software development ecosystem, as well as the world at large. These three main focus areas give us a clear set of guidelines for the kinds of activities we run through our program. An interesting thing about the way Mendicant University works is that much of our learning happens outside of the traditional classroom setting. For example, the open source software we use for coordinating our events and activities was built and is maintained by our community members. We also try to give back to the many open source projects that we have benefited from as software developers. For example, Mendicant University community members started the Ruby documentation project, a concerted effort to make the Ruby programming language easier to work with and understand. Mendicant University also takes things a step further by participating in projects that directly affect the well-being of others in a positive way. Our most significant contributions have been to the Mission of Mercy Free Dental Clinic program, but we have also contributed to the Swan for Kids musical charity, as well as the Agora on Rails electronic voting system. The main entry point into Mendicant University's community is our Core Skills course. This intense three-week session is purely project-based and requires the students to complete several learning exercises while simultaneously working on open source contributions. Because there is a high demand for our courses, it is necessary for us to have an entrance exam to ensure that students are adequately prepared and sufficiently dedicated to get the most out of one of our sessions. We try to make this process as fun as possible for applicants by having them solve interesting puzzles rather than taking a more formal kind of test. A few puzzles we've run include a chess move validator, a digital circuit analyzer, and a simple water flow simulation. A neat side effect of doing our entrance exams this way is that the website we use to run our exams is equally useful as a standalone learning resource and a source of entertainment for our programmers. The fact that we maintain a public leaderboard helps encourage people to participate even if they aren't particularly interested in applying for Mendicant University. The students who do end up taking the Core Skills course have to design, implement, and ship several real projects within a 21-day period. As an example, in our January 2012 session, Brent Vitain built a simple to-do list application that pulls its data from Google Calendars, an email-based story sharing system, a tool which guesses the author of an article based on predefined training data, and also managed to contribute several minor improvements to the Mission of Mercy clinic management system. Every other student in the same course worked on a different set of projects, providing a staggering amount of interesting things to talk about during the session. The diverse nature of projects our students work on form the raw materials that we use to teach various software development concepts during our sessions. We use a combination of summarized notes about the issues we've seen across several student projects, along with highly individualized feedback to teach in a very contextualized way. All of our conversations within the course are made available to all students in the session, and most ideas we discuss end up becoming open educational resources sooner or later. What we have discussed so far in this video is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Mendicant University's activities. There are many other exciting things going on at our school that are too hard to summarize concisely. However, a few things in particular deserve a mention before we wrap up this tour. Our top priority outside of our Core Skills course is to continue to develop and grow our one-on-one -on -one mentoring program. 
Through this program, we reach out to beginner programmers who may not be ready for our core skills course, as well as anyone who we think we can help. There is much that can be done with this program to make it an excellent public source of open education, and we believe that this program will be the way we reach a broader student base in the long run. We are also doing an increasing amount of regular, low-commitment community activities within our school, many of which we plan to invite the general public to participate in. In particular, we've decided to start up monthly hack days where people can join us in a public chat channel to work on free software projects together. We are also continuing to develop several courses for our community members to participate in. While participation in these courses currently is only open to those who have passed our core skills course, we look forward to offering more public facing courses in the future. For the time being, we remain dedicated to releasing all our course materials and focusing our courses around the development of free software projects so that even if courses are run privately, they still end up creating a large amount of public good. There is so much more we could say about the projects we are working on, but these are just the things that truly stand out. We hope you have enjoyed this virtual tour of our school. The reason we decided to participate in Open Education Week is because we feel that our community has a lot to offer other worthwhile causes, and we want to extend an open invitation for collaboration to anyone else working in a similar space as our own. Because we like to learn by solving real problems, we would be very interested in hearing from those who are working on open education projects that have technical issues our community could help solve. If anything you have heard in this brief presentation interests you, please send us an email and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.